Good Sunday morning. Problem. There's a lot of data out there. How do you make sense of it? What do you what approaches do you do that suck less to to get that data understandable and such and so forth? So there's a couple of approaches I usually would have taken. Try and get the data into a spreadsheet. And one I picked up earlier this year uh, from working in data science is using J Jupyter Notebooks. So like for example here, what I would do is grab a whole bunch of data in JSON or copy and paste, I don't know how, and use a tool like JQ if I was, work if I was working with JSON to get it into a CSV and then I would input it into Google Sheets. Then I would do some sort of like, you know, sorting on something, pivoting on something else, and then I would share that horrible Google Sheet URL with somebody. That's how I normally did things. I also picked up Jupyter Notebook at a, at, a, at a workplace, but I find, I mean, Jupyter Notebooks and Pandas are really powerful, but I feel if you don't work with Pandas day to day, and if you don't work with colleagues who have the skills to, it's quite not a it's not that good i mean it works for big data sets jupyter notebook um github incidentally have a nice way of showing you get your your notebook but anyway it's a bit unwieldy i don't really like it now there's a third way which i'm going to recommend you guys check out it's called dataset by simon willison i've been following him for years on twitter fantastic individual i really recommend you follow simon w um and he also makes a video better than I can do to introduce data set link above, check it out. What he basically does is create a whole bunch of nice tools to import data into an SQLite database. And then he's written like a, like a front end. By the way, he also founded or wrote Django to some extent. So he's written like a front end, a web front end to that SQL database. So the cool thing about dataset, if, if you've got an SQL database, you can just use it as a front end, like, I don't know, PHP, my admin, but it's better because you it allows you to, it, it has lots of like nice little plugins so you can visualize things, you can drill into the data and things like this. I, I for the first time I created a dataset last week, kind of for my work. Uh, you can see how I, in a similar way to what I was doing here, now it's in a data set sort of thing. I, I, I grab the JSON down in a, in a shell script and I think I import it. I can't remember how to do that now. Oh yeah, mm, actually uh, that one. Uh, oh yeah, I use a make file like a sane person. So yeah, I use a make file. I need to delete that file. And then this is what it looks like basically. You, you, you can easily also host it in a Lambda environment. There's no security issues because, you know, SQLite, it's all just read only here. You can, you can, you can edit the SQL and things like this. Um, but yeah, here, here I'm just like ranking uh, different AWS partners by launches, launch count. I mean, it's just a silly example. You can point this at your, you know, oh yeah, someone asked me on Twitter recently, what, because I've moved from Flickr to using Apple Photos only. They asked me, what is my Photos workflow? Everything now is on Apple Photos. The SQLite is actually on here. And I can actually point data set. Um, I think uh, Simon calls this stuff dog sheep. All his like local home personal stuff is called dog sheep. He's got a better demo, but you can basically point data set and have a read-only local iPhotos or a photos thing, but I, it's really good. It's that's what I'm using now. Of course, I really miss following people's photo streams on Flickr, but you know, it's 2020. Maybe I could do with a bit of privacy with my kids and all. So anyway, so I hope you found that interesting. Check out Dataset when you want to explore some data. I I I have been revamping my my uh, my blog. It's like pretty old, most of the stuff is defunct. But like, for example, I have a tip here, which basically shows how I also use dataset to basically track active cases, COVID-19. Have a look around my 
thebase.com site. Follow me on Twitter. Follow Simon on Twitter. Questions below, like the video, subscribe. Sorry I'm asking a lot, but I mean, I do waste my Sunday mornings for you guys, so please be grateful. Well, thanks. Bye now.